To preview PDF in browser first you need to download a library called FPDF. Go to fpdf.org and go to downloads and download the latest version as zip file. Extract the zip file and copy the extracted folder in your project. Now open file where you want to preview the PDF. Right now we are displaying the index file as PDF, but later we will display it after a clickable link. Start PHP. Require once does not give error if same file is included twice. FPDF folder. And this is the PHP file that needs to be included, fpdf.php. Create a new object of FPDF class. First thing you need to do is to add a page, otherwise it will give an error. And output function will render the PDF file in browser. No file will be created but the preview will be displayed. If you are using Mac or Linux, you might have to enable permission on your folder in order to make this library work. Folder Info Unlock Permissions And apply to enclosed items so it will give the permission to all nested folders too. And lock the permission again. So an empty page is created. Now first we are going to add an image on top left. This is where you can place your own logo. This is the file that we will be using as a sample. Call the image function. First parameter will be the path of your image. Second and third parameters are x and y coordinates respectively. And fourth parameter will be the width of image. You can also set the height of image in fifth parameter but it is optional. Now we are going to show a title on top right where you can display your website name. We are simply displaying invoice text. In order to write some text we first have to set the font. This library already has many built-in fonts but for simplicity we are using our real font. Set font is the function. First parameter will be font family. Second is style which can be normal or bold, leave it empty for normal. And third will be the size of font. And now cell function will actually write the text. First two parameters are width and height of text. And third will be the string. It is displayed here because we did not set its location. You can set the location on x-axis by calling setX function. You can adjust according to your needs. Now we are going to display some information below this image. Write another text with label from and we will give it some height so it may not overall other text. The reason why it is displayed here is because all cells are being displayed in same line and we need to break the link. So call the function lane after invoice label and it will give a line break. Now we need to display this label below the video. So call the set my function. Now we can show more information below this label but in normal font style, not in bold. First break the line. Set the font to normal style and decrease the font size too.
display as many cells as you like, and if you give them height then we will not overlap each other. Break the line after this text. Now if I remove its height you will see they got real close to each other. So that's why we give height to cells. Set it back to 10. Break the line. Now we are going to show you how you can display database data here in table format. We are creating a header for a table and each cell will have equal width and height. We have a database named Classic Models and table name was Order Details. You will have different data according to your project but it will give you an idea how you can use it. We are going to display these fields in our PDF. Product code. Quantity. And price. You can also draw border around each cell by providing fourth parameter which will be used for border. Give border width as 1. You can also highlight the header by filling it with color. Call set fill color function and pass the RGB color as parameter. You can get the RGB color from online color picker. Select any color. And copy this RGB code. And paste in your function. To fill the cell you first have to tell the next cell's position. Giving 0 will make sure that the next cell will come after it. Giving it 1 will move the next cell to next line. And text alignment which can be left right center or justify. And true means that you want to fill the cell. Now if you give the fifth parameter 1 value you will see next cells will move to next line. So doing to zero and applying same to all header cells too. Now we need to show the data from database. Break the line. First create a connection with database. Provide host, username, password, and database name. Now run the query you can any query you want, it depends on the data you want to get. We are getting details of one order it will have multiple products. Let's get this sorter's details. Loop through all records. Get each record in row variable.
the width and height of cells should be same as header cells. We are displaying product code. Quantity ordered. And price each. And break the line after each row. You can also draw border by giving fourth parameter to cell. Now we are going to show the total amount including the shipping cost etc. Initialize a variable with zero. And add total price of each product by multiplying price with quantity. Now display the total at the end of table. First we draw the border. Then we place it a little bit to right. You can adjust the x-axis and break the line before it. Now the shipping and grand total layout will be same as this. So put a line break. And copy this layout and paste for shipping. And again paste for grand total. Grand total will be total amount plus shipping cost. Decrease the x-axis a little bit more. And grand total needs to be highlighted too. Now we need to make it downloadable, in order to do that first we are going to save that file in our server and then download on user side. We are going to create a new file with two links, to preview PDF file and to download it. Create a copy of this file. Rename it pdf.php. Remove this content. This is for previewing PDF inside the browser without creating and downloading the file in computer. And it simply points towards the PDF file we just created. And this link will also point towards PDF file but it sends a parameter which identifies that user wants to download the file. This is previewing the file. So an index file check if the user requested for download.
otherwise we will call the simple output function. Now first we need to create a file, we can do that by calling output function and pass the name of file. It will create pdf file with this name invoice.pdf. And second parameter should be f which tells that an external file needs to be created. Now you will a new pdf file will be created here. Now we need to make it downloadable. First we need to send headers with name content type. And value should be application pdf. And second parameter should be content disposition and it will actually make the file downloadable. Value should be attachment as file data will be attached in headers. And file name which will be the name of file after it is downloaded in user's computer. We are keeping it same. Lastly we need to tell the path of source file which needs to be downloaded. Read file is a built in function that will read the file. So it is invoice.pdf. You see a file is created in server and also downloaded in user's computer. One more thing you can do is to delete the file from server after downloaded. Because in some cases you just want the user to download the file, and not to save that in your server. So after read file function call the unlink function. Unlink function will delete the file from server. Now you will see after I download the file it will be removed from server. So that's it, hope you learned a lot from this and it may help you in your projects for sure. If you face any problem feel free to ask in the comments section below.